Spinning back kick. Spinning back kick is a very beautiful move. The attack point is the opponent's face. When the swing is released, one leg is supported, one foot is hooked up or the whole body is lifted to attack the heel of the opponent's face. An attack like this is not only good looking, but also has a very strong attack power. Before launching this attack, you are forced to spread your arms to keep your balance. Powered mainly by centrifugal force and body rotation, this blow does not use too much muscle force, its power depends heavily on technique, as well as body weight. In addition, you always have to pay attention to the opponent, when you turn your back to the opponent will make you lose sight. It also forces you to strike quickly to get back into control of the match. Dodge, spinning back, kick. Dodge, spinning back, kick the same bobbing and weaving technique as in boxing. Rise up, drop down is a technique of dodging combined with defense. Rise up, drop down is a technique of dodging combined with defense. This technique is made up of techniques that move the head up and down, without following a certain pattern, speed. This is the safest technique as you don't need to exert any force to block this kick. All you need to do is quickly dodge your opponent's kick. By flexible combined postures such as leaning, shoulder rotation, knee overlap, heel rotation, back bend and backward leg to increase the distance with the opponent. Continuous punch. Initially, you deliver a direct punch to the opponent, to get a strong punch you have to move your whole body to get maximum force behind that punch. You need to take a small step forward, followed by a lean. Rotate shoulders to improve punching power. Make sure your back leg rotates on tiptoe. Rotate both your body and your hips, so that your face and body reduce the cross-section of your opponent's field of vision. Your hips and hind foot are the organs that transmit power to your right leg. When throwing a punch, your body rotates in the direction of the punch, your body weight is on your front foot to optimize punching power, your arms are stretched out towards the opponent, stretched just enough to hit the opponent. When launching an elbow strike, your heels, hips, and waist must simultaneously rotate to increase power. Dodge and parry continuous punch. When performing the snap, the whole body focuses on the back leg, the hind foot is like a spring. When snapping, hind legs compress down and heel up to return. When you feel the opponent's attack deeper, keep the front foot and move the rear foot back to avoid the deep thrusts. How to do it, from the prepared position, bring your hands to the level of the punch, 10 to 15 centimeters, open your hand to block the punch and use your right foot to push the center of gravity on the left leg. You need to pay attention that the distance when blocking must be correct because too close will not block the punch or too far will not prevent the next punch. Straight punch combined with hook punch. To make a straight punch, you need to keep a defensive position and step out slightly. Rotate your hips to reduce the area of your face and body from your opponent's field of view. The straight punch is often followed by the hook punch, the classic combination of one and two beats. Hook up, punch, a vertical punch, thrown upwards with the right hand. Your torso is slightly turned to the right, your right hand is lowered below the opponent's chest, and your knees are slightly bent back. At the same time, the torso and hips rotate counterclockwise and the hind heel rotates outward, mimicking the body movements of a straight back punch.